Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate, and today I got something new for you. Yep, today we're going to do the largest home ever on the channel. Yes, this is a April Fool's Minecraft video, but uh, don't, don't fear, I'll have a regular one for you also. But uh, this way, you yeah, gotta do an April Fool's joke, right? So, anyway, Stick around, enjoy the video. I hope you appreciate the time Raiden and I took to do this one. So today, we are doing something totally different, right? Yep. So we're doing the biggest, baddest home we've ever put on the channel, right? Yep. Like, square footage wise, this is like over 100,000 square foot. So anyway, because each block represents three foot or 3.3 feet. And so, yeah, this is like super huge. And we're doing multiple homes in this video. So, hope you all enjoy. <laughs> right where we left off at. So, as you can see, this is a three story home. Lots of dormers. We've got our, our uh, stone paved walkway there. So we've got lots of windows, lots of dormers. And then you got the uh, dark oak trim on the outside. And then we've got this giant storeroom here. We'll check that out on the inside here in just a few minutes. Can't forget the uh, extra large wheat garden right here. And I will apologize as you can see the uh, this is my first time ever using a capture card and I obviously didn't get all the settings correct because it is a little on the blurry side but this is coming from an Xbox 360 to my laptop I think maybe if I had used my desktop it might have been a little bit clearer too so uh, you live and you learn right so we got beets in the garden there we got this giant storeroom Looking into our four horse garage. There's a little bit more than four horses in there though. So we'll back away and take a look here. Oh yeah, almost forgot. We gotta go into the four horse garage. Can't forget that as the horse tries to back up. Right. Oh, hair. Isn't that what you would name a rabbit? Oh, hair. So once again, we got the four horses and I believe two donkeys in here. So a little bit more than four horses. This is a big old garage. Taking a look at all them big dormers. So you can see just how big this house really is. Now we gotta, gotta hurry up and get inside, I think. Otherwise, this thing's gonna be super long if we don't. We got the brick steps going in. Oh, yeah. We can't forget about the flower garden. We've got automatic doors. Now check out the size of this here living room, or dining room, I should say. Living room's on the other side of the home. This thing is massive. Well, hey, Digger, what's up? I think I got three dogs. Can't forget this closet over here by the front door. So that's about a 10 foot by a 6 foot closet. Now the center island on this is about uh, 15 foot by 9 foot. 
So as you can see, we've got this giant kitchen opening here. Got lots of counter space at this end. Got our sink. Yep, there's our sink. Now this was meant to look like a dishwasher, but obviously it's our crafting table. And then there's our stove or cooking area. Currently got done melting some silver. And then the anvil for beating on things, or in this case, the enchanting table. Enchanting anvil, I should say. All right, where should we go next? I haven't named that dog yet. He's the one that likes to follow me. The others just sit around in the house. So we've got our extra large pantry here, which ironically, most everything is empty. And what isn't in here is any food. I just kind of come in here and fill them up as I, use, as I need them. And Raiden's got all his glass over here. Now this door goes right out to the garage. And this one will take us out to the uh, giant storeroom. That's all the food. Then we've got some potatoes. I believe this is carrots. We've got our beets. And up here we've got all our wheat for making our breads and things of that nature. It's all the weapons from everything that we've been killing. A bunch of books. All our, all our magical books. Now, we gotta head upstairs. First, nope, we already got the pantry. First, we gotta come check out this hot little study over here. And then behind the study, this is where we made our first mistake. So this is a three bedroom it's a three bedroom one and a half bath because we forgot to put a shower in this bathroom and we didn't even put one in the upstairs so we kind of goofed up and so this would be the living room area Kind of getting dark out, so we better hurry up and go make it daylight again here in just a second. See how quick time flies? It's already daylight. Now we've got our giant sized pool out here. Now we gotta head upstairs. Bedroom number one would be Raiden's bed, built to look like Spider Man. And yes, we have lots of light out here. First of many giant size walk in closets. And 
and this would be bedroom number two. Now, the only reason we don't have a regular size bed in this one is had to use a Minecraft bed in order to uh, be able to fast forward the night today. Not that we really care if it gets nighttime and we can out there with all those lights. And this is the second giant walk in closet. Lots of windows in this one. Can't forget my office. And there's the uh, Church of Minecraft over there. And looking down on the uh, blacksmith's house. This would be the master bedroom. We've got our big patio out here, or deck I should say. We've got a bunch of stone light pillars on this side. Great view of the pool. And coming into the master bathroom here, you can see we've got the uh, dual sinks. No vanities though, no mirrors. I'd break it if I looked in the mirror. And there's the water closet that we forgot the door on. Now you got to check out this giant stone shower. But you haven't never seen a shower that big before. And then this massive walk-in closet. Yes, the horses will keep you up all night. With the magic floating lights in the center. Oops, I forgot to close the doors. Now we got to go upstairs as soon as I can close these doors. So over here is just kind of a little gathering area. Got a couple tables, maybe do some puzzles or whatever else on. Here we've got our wet bar. Come out here, take a oh, I'm not gonna take a view, I guess I forgot to take a view. But this would be our card table where we're gonna sit down and play poker and things like that. But you can see for a long ways up here. Can't forget the pool table. No mansion would be complete without a pool table. A little sitting area there. You gotta have a library in a mansion, right? Wouldn't be a mansion without a library either. Those are like two things you gotta have, a pool table and a library. Alright, so 
now we got now that the home is done we got some other things we got to show you real quick like you think this home was big wait till you see how big this barn is it's all full, well not completely full of animals but it's big it's got a lot of animals in it So we got one pig. I don't know what happened to the other one. There should be two. We got about six cows in here. We got a bunch of chickens. And we've got over on the other side there with some sheep. I still don't know what happened to that pig. Where'd your buddy go? Look at that, we fast forwarded to daylight again. All right. So now we gotta come down here. We gotta check out the school of rock. Yep. Appropriately named School of Rock. Seems how it is made out of rock. Of course, there's no kids in school because it's spring break. Now we're going to run on down here real quick and we got the uh, prison of Minecraft County. We gotta wait till we're done. Check out one more cell here real quick like. They got their sink and their bed. We forgot to give them toilets even. Guess we have to get them some buckets. And then when they get out of the prison, they can come here to the Church of Minecraft and hopefully clean up their act. Alright patrons, don't forget to leave your tips before you leave. across from the church so once you get out of church you can come right over here go to the store for the ages and pick up everything you need for dinner tonight this guy looks like he's got a lot of stuff for sale all right we got come down here we got a really neat feature to show you down here You'll love this one. So as we come down into here, we've got our undersea viewing area. Not a lot to see out this window. If you come over to this window, you can see some little fishies swimming around. Now where does this go? 10,000 leagues under the sea? <laughs> oh, it comes into another little, little area here. I wonder where this could be. Oh yeah. This is our giant pit that we made. 
when we were trying to get down to gold and diamonds and all that other stuff. Eventually. And then, in case you're wondering how we keep that stove going, we come down to this pit. We got us an endless supply of lava. That'll keep the stoves going for a long time. I didn't even know we had this. Just about done here. I hope you all have enjoyed this, but uh, oh, what was that? That's right. This house is so big that occasionally we get these little giant spiders that try to come in here. And I have a horrible aim in the Xbox, so you. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It is. It's April Fools! <laughs> so anyway, we thought we'd have a little fun with you. I hope y'all enjoyed the April Fools joke. Like I said, it is a super large one. We both put in a lot of time into trying to get this thing built and mining up all the materials and going and taking down pillagers mansions and things like that so that we could do this for you. Uh, so I have something to show you guys. This. I know you guys can't see it, so I'm going to bring it up close. This is one of the Minecraft players. I think they can't see it because of the light. So this is a Minecraft player character. Her name is Alex. She, you guys can know because her orange hair. And for some reason, this can happen. She can open. And in this little place... You can take off the body, put it in her head, and basically just close it and it just shows her head. I don't know why the creators of Minecraft made this, but whatever. It is cool. Thanks. Bye, guys.